What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Digit Tavern, and welcome to another video where we open card packs. I'm your host, Tony. So in last week's video, we seem to have gotten some good feedback, and I'm going to do another video for you guys. And I'm going to amp up some of the things that I didn't realize I was doing. Apparently, it's a little ASMR-y. So I'm going to go with that. On today's docket here, we're opening a bunch of booster packs for the VMAX Rising Japanese box set. And I hope you guys enjoy the sounds of me struggling to open both box and booster packs. I'm a big fan of this of this whole box, the way it's kind of laid out. It's its whole thing. It just it just feels like it's from Japan. And I'm a big fan of that. So today we're opening five booster booster packs and I'm looking forward to showing you guys what I what I got so a couple things to note about this so in Japan they get a expansion set for cards every month we get that expansion three months later so right now the big pack out there is rebel clash and I have some of those on the way as well and I look forward to sharing that with you guys so in the meantime we're gonna get these five packs open here. And the, the cards are a little thinner than the American cards. So we're gonna use a pair of scissors to kind of get this guy open. And so you'll, you'll see that I'm just kind of starting to cut on the seams here. And a silly thing happens here. So originally when I was recording this, I cut three booster packs I cut the tips off of three booster packs for some reason it didn't register in my head that I had cut three booster packs so on the third one this one I think it's like some special booster pack that was maybe a misprint or had the secrets of VMAX within it like, I, I, this is, like, look at this. I'm comparing it to the other booster packs. I'm like, look at this one compared to this one. The stupid thing about this is that I actually grab all three tips that I cut off and am still thinking that this is a special booster pack. So I leave it to the side. I'm not really sure what I was thinking. So I'm kind of folding the pack over the cards themselves just to make for a clean cut and uh struggling a bit here because i i've seen horror stories of people tearing into their cards and i don't want to risk that now i mentioned before that i've opened a bunch of these packs in the past with another box set that i ordered and the percentage of getting good cards in these packs are really nice However, the trade-off is you only get five cards in each booster pack. But the percentage is much higher to get a full art card, a foil card, a VMAX card. It's extremely high. And it's one of the main reasons why I purchased this, this, this box set. Another thing to note is that if you're looking to purchase these Japanese cards, uh, they're a lot cheaper than the American ones. Uh, they're about 50 or so dollars, uh, and I purchased these from Amazon. So let's get right into the packs themselves. So with this pack, or with these Japanese sets, you want to take the first two and pop them to the back, and those are always going to be your special cards. So, starting off with a Dreepy and a Hallelujah. I like Hallelujah. I like the art, at least, and the concept as well. A Phalanx, which has that 3D art style. A Burning Scarf Trainer card. And finishing off with a really, really good looking Arcanine. I love this card and I love the way it looks as if the fire around him is dancing and he's standing in the middle of all, of all the action. And that was a really cool card to have. Mm. 
I was a little unhappy with the play scene because I, I figured out how to put the mat square in the camera. So I was a little unhappy with the placing of that trainer card. So I just kind of popped it to the side. Next up, we have a Honage steel type and not to, which has always been a weird Pokemon to me. Coming in with the Toxel, which is a very cool lizard like Pokemon. A Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Now, if someone would explain to me how or why he's a water type, I'd really love that. I know I can look it up, but you know. And this is what I mean by having good percentages. The second pack of the five that we opened, we start out with a full art V card Cinderace. The art style is so cool, and, and I'm really digging the fire fighting type Pokemon. So coming in here with the, the next pack, a Drake look. Nice evolution form of Dreepy. Getting a Mr. Mime, another water type and another Galarian type Mr. Mime that is. I tried to move them away from the glare, but I put it into another glare. So that was my bad. A Snover. A Toxtricity, which was really cool to get this card. I'm hoping that I can find a full art VMAX card of Toxtricity in uh, Rebel Clash. Again, third pack we opened here getting a full art card of Sandaconda and that was really cool the art on this one also is really cool because you can see he's kind of shooting some kind of spray and maybe having some sort of wind emotion passing by him uh, we get into that card a little later next on the list here a dark Pokemon and Stunky Again, not happy with the placement, so just kind of moving things around. So it took me a while to figure out what this was, but because I wasn't too sure what it was. But that's a Galarian Corsola. Nice enough. Bunnelby. A trainer card, Milo. I am definitely hunting the full art card of Milo. I would love to have that. And finishing off with a Bearskuta. I like the way that card looks. I love the the fish kind of coming out of the water. So again, like I'm I'm treating this pack as if it's extremely special, where in reality I just lost track of the packs I was opening. It's so silly when I think about it. Watching it back over, I just think how how silly that was. A heliolisk. An electric salamander, which is really cool. Another far fetched, and I, I'll show you what I mean by another. A grubbin, grass type Pokemon. So you'll notice that in these Japanese card packs, there are no energy cards. That's one thing that's not in these packs. And finishing off with twin energy and an Abomina Snow. And those are the card packs. That's five card packs that we open here. And getting two full art Pokemon cards is not bad, especially pretty ones like these. Now, I will say that these cards have a tendency to warp because they're a little thinner. Um, so I would always recommend putting these directly into a sleeve or some sort of protective case to keep them from kind of warping too much and that's what i'm about to do right now so cleaning up the mess here and putting things away i kind of want to take the time here to once again let you guys know that this is game chops and their album cover of the pokemon game so you can see all the holographics and full arts and VMAX cards that I've gotten. There's the other far-fetched I have. And you can see that I've had 
very good luck getting the starters and the VMAX. Now this is a VMAX Cinderace and that art style is just so awesome. The holographic, the texture, just everything. We're going to get into those cards a little bit here, but let's let's put them away first. So I was pretty lucky when I first bought my first pack of Sword and Shield booster sets. Uh, it came with this little booklet and I don't know if I'm going to keep them in here. I'm considering buying another binder for Japanese cards themselves. When I was younger, I didn't really like Japanese cards. I thought they were fake. Um, but as I'm buying more and more cards, I'm just I'm learning that it's just a different style of card. Nothing fake about them. So let's get into some of the cards that we did here. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, this is a game mat by CoolStuffInc.com. They've got a ton of gear out there. They've got a ton of things to buy. And if you're looking for Pokemon cards or magic cards or any kind of cards, CoolStuffInc.com has got you covered. Now, let's get into some of these cards. So first on the list is Arcanine. And kind of to reiterate, he just looks really cool with everything that's going on. He looks so surprised about the fire dancing around him. And he looks like he's just a good boy, just dancing around a bunch of fire. And if anything, this card reminds me of how excited some dogs get when there's water around and they just want to play in it. And like I said, Arcanine, he's just a good boy. Next on the list is both Toxel and Toxtricity. So I wanted to showcase these cards together because I love the contrast of colors. I love the purple in comparison to the gold or the yellow, and it just makes for a more popping of an image. And Toxel is just like a, a huggable baby, whereas Toxtricity is just this beast of a creature who is just in looks to be embracing madness and the chaos that is electricity. Next up is one of the foil cards, Sandaconda. And looking at this card, it's such a beautiful card. It The shimmer, the look to it, the holographic itself is just so well done. And one thing I will say about the Japanese cards is they definitely have a texture and film across the card. And you can really tell when you get a when you get a foil card and it just it just looks so good and just having Sanaconda in this attack phase just makes this card even even better to me next up is Cinderace so as I showed you this is not the first Cinderace that I have gotten this is the second one so to see Cinderace in this other kind of attacking pose makes for an even more enjoyment of this card and i just love to see cinderace kind of coming in with a charge or a kick i love the fire it reminds me of something like a street fighter or some sort of game that just really embraces the fighting and that's what cinderace is all about at the end of the day it's a, it's a fighting pokemon and it's a rabbit so it's all around it's cute and intimidating all at one time and that's it guys, that's video number two here in the Digi Tavern. Thank you for tuning in, and as before, follow us on our Twitter account, uh, link in the description, and check out the podcast. Other than that, until next time in the next video where we open up some Rebel Clash booster pack cards. I'm really excited to share that one with you because I hear the art in those packs are very, very good. So until then guys, I'll see you next time here in the Digi Tavern.